I have a short video for you today, but it's not something you're going to want to miss. At least not if you're already at the end game or World Tier 4, which is technically not the end game yet, but I guess, you know, it's as far as you can get right now. Uh, but yeah, in this video I'll be showing you what I think is the fastest way to farm those specialization points. Now specialization points are those points that you need to unlock the perks of any specialization in the base of operations. You need 160 of them per specialization. And as far as I know, there are only a few ways to get them. You get three specialization points when you complete the experience bar. Every time you so-called get a field proficiency cache, you get three points with them. You get one specialization point if you manage to capture a level four control point. Uh, and you get five specialization points if you beat an invaded mission or an invaded stronghold. Those are all the ways that I know of that you can get specialization points right now. Uh, there might be a few more, but these are the most common at least. Uh, and when we look at these, it seems that, yeah, the invaded strongholds and the missions, they seem to give you the most specialization points by far. Uh, they're pretty fast to beat and they give you five. And while you're doing them, you're also basically getting more experience and just also getting those field proficiency caches. So just grinding invaded strongholds and missions seems to be the best way to go, right? The only problem is, is that invaded strongholds and missions, they aren't replayable. Once you get to real tier one, once you finish the campaign, you'll have six invaded missions and three invaded strongholds, each giving you those five specialization points. And after you do them once, they can't be replayed. Or can they? You see, if you've already done them, but you join a friend that hasn't completed them yet because he's not that far yet, you can just join his session, and of course you can then also do the invaded missions with him. And when you complete it, you will also get those five specialization points again, uh, even though you already completed the invaded strongholds and missions. So uh, what we came up with, and when I say we, I actually mean my, uh, my friend Eugnim, the guy that I play with a lot, what he came up with is that uh, what if we just get a second character, uh, level it up to level 30, you know, anybody just gets a second character, doesn't matter, level it up to level 30, but don't do the invaded missions and strongholds so that they're all still available. And then that guy with the second character just invites all of his friends over and then you can do the invaded missions and strongholds. Okay, so that's really beneficial for the three guys, but that still isn't really the fastest way because that means you have to level uh, a character to level 30 every time. So what if we can go one step further? What if the level 30 guy, the second character, just invites his friends and then leaves the session and then joins back with his main character? And then, because we're still in the session of the second character, we can do the invaded missions, but because the second character isn't there, they're not going to be completed for the second character. And thus, after we're done, can we do them again by just re-logging into the second character and uh, joining the second character again? Would that work? Well, guys... If it didn't work, you wouldn't be watching this video, because yes, you can totally do that. So yeah, the way you set this up is, as I just explained, you get somebody with a second character that is level 30, uh, that doesn't complete the invaded missions. Then everybody joins him, and then the second character leaves, so uh, when the missions are completed, the second character isn't in the session, so it doesn't count for him. Uh, and then, of course, the guy with the second character can also log on to his main character and then join his friends again, so that everybody can just play on the, on the instance of the second character over and over without the second character actually completing the invaded missions. And every time that you beat it, everybody in the group will get those five specialization points. It is super easy to do, super fast as well, because you can just do all the missions on World Tier 1 if you don't do the strongholds. And you don't want to do the strongholds because they take very long, way longer than the normal mission and you still only get five specialization points for beating them. Uh, and we actually got to the point where we only did the four missions on the east side of the map. Because the two on the west side actually have a lot of waves when playing the uh, invaded version of them. So uh, they took a little bit longer as well. And we just decided to skip those because why not just play the fastest mission? So yeah, this farm just comes down to playing the same four invaded missions on repeat. Uh, and every time you beat one mission, you get five specialization points. And because you're also fighting Black Tusk, you get a lot of experience among the way. Which then means that you're also going to get that field proficiency cache very often and also get another three specialization points for that. Uh, it's just one guy logging into a second character, everybody joining him, the guy logging off, joining back on his main character, and then completing the missions. And then over and over and over again. I myself do not have that many specialization points yet because I simply... 
I just haven't had the time to do this yet between making videos, streaming PvP, all that stuff. I've only got like 65 hours playtime, so uh, I'm a little bit behind, but most of my friends already have all the specializations completed, not on one, but on two characters now. And they're in the process of getting it done on their third character. It is by far the fastest way to get specialization points. You just need to invest some time up front because you do need to get somebody with a uh, level 30 fresh character that hasn't completed the invaded missions yet. And that's all there is to it. Um, as I said, it's a super short video, but it is definitely something that you want to keep in mind once you're already at the end game. The one thing I do not know though is if this will ever get nerfed or maybe fixed entirely at some point. I feel like that doing this is very much in a gray area between a nice trick to get some more points and maybe a straight up exploit. You know, we're not going through walls or on purposely dying in a certain room to certain NPCs to farm a specific boss. We're not going that far, but we are using the second character in a way that I don't think the developers intended. So uh, I'm just going to say this. If this gets fixed in the future, I'll update the title with a fixed in, uh, in big words in front, of the, in front of the video. So if you see that in the title, you know that it doesn't work anymore. But as long as you don't see that in the title, that means it still works. And yeah, that's really all. As always, guys, I'll see you all later. Or like they say in the Netherlands, see you later.